She's an old soul. She's so far ahead for years, but she's also still a kid. So Ariana is the heart and soul of the film. We, our family, you know, we, we became family on the movie. She's, I, you know, I love her parents and, and Ariana is so smart. I said, you have to be writing movies because I have ideas. And Hi, Lai. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine in you. Nice to see you again. And nice to see you too. Thank you so much for your time. A pleasure once more to talk to you. Uh, I, the movie is very colorful. It's very, oh my God, all over the place. A lot of things going on. How did you stay true to the game while you still bring your own creativity, your own ideas? Well, the first thing I did was um, I talked to Randy Pitchford, the game creator, and I said, how free am I to change stuff? Because I didn't want to do a straight recreation. I wanted to do an adaptation. And obviously, it's PG-13, so I wanted a movie that you could take kids to. And it's a very violent game, so 9, 10, 11-year-old kids are not players of the game. But hopefully they see this, they love it, and then they eventually will be. Um, and Randy was with me on set, and I, I really wanted to stay true to the look and feel and all the weaponry and all of those little details, but also, you know, change the characters. We're telling a story, we're doing an adaptation. So that was the fun was, uh, you know, if people know the stories of the game, this is going to take them on a completely different ride. Yeah. What was like your biggest challenge, like to, to bring your ideas to, 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 to that? Well, the biggest challenge was shooting in COVID for sure, because if one person on the stunt team had an outbreak, you had to prep everything over Zoom. So a lot of the stuff we had to kind of figure out, uh, on the fly, but it also allowed us to escape into the world of Pandora because we were in Budapest, which was on strict lockdown. So really being in the world of the movie, we got to escape into it. But there's always challenges on every movie, no matter what. It's I say, you know, making a movie is having a vision and compromising it 100 percent. It's just how quickly can you figure everything out when it all goes wrong? But everyone came together it was the best cast I ever worked with. Uh, the movie turned out really great. It's really, really fun ride. It is, it is. I watch it and it's super fun and I, I love it. It's very colorful and I love the cast. The cast is amazing. Amazing. I know everybody's talking about Kate, Jamie Lee Kurtz, Kevin Hart, but I want to talk about Ariana. What was about Ariana that got your attention to, to cast her? Well, there were a lot of young women that auditioned and uh, Ariana I was just blew everyone away. And I said to her, I don't want it to be, oh, that was great for a kid. I said, we need a great, a great role that's a great role period, not a great, you know, kid actor role. And we talked about Natalie Portman in the movie, The Professional and how brilliant she was. And she said, like, that's my favorite movie. And she actually had a pillow of Natalie Portman's character. So I was like, all right, I know we're going to get along. Um, and she, I just knew she was a genius. She's, she's an old soul. She's so far ahead for years, but she's also still a kid. So Ariana is the heart and soul of the film. We, our family, you know, we, we became, family on the movie. She's, I, you know, I love her parents and, and Ariana is so smart. I said, you have to be writing movies because I have ideas. And I was like, okay, I'll show you how to write. We're writing movies together. I was like, we'll write them together. We'll produce them together. I'll direct, you'll star. And then eventually you'll just direct them. And she's like done. So, you know, she's too famous now to go to high school. So she's like a kid and an adult at the same time. I'm like, well, let's just write movies. Yeah. Yeah. She's amazing. I've been following her since she was a little kid. Brilliant. And and she's I think a real she's, deal. Yes, yes, Major, she is. major star, Ariana. Incredible talent. Incredible. Yeah. And she's a real kid. That's what's great about her. She's just a real person, really funny, not affected. And you get the sense that she could go, okay, I'm done. I'll go on to something else. That's amazing. And also, like, there is a lot of action on the on yeah. the movie. What was, like, like work with them, especially, like, with Kate, Jamie Lee Kurtz, all of those action scenes is, like, it's... Might, might be a challenge. I don't know. Well, How was everybody that? was up for it. I love it. I mean, when you're with Kate Blanchett, she's such a pro. I mean, she learned the gun twirling. She learned how to use a flamethrower. She got in harnesses and got ratcheted up. I mean, she's really, really incredible. And, you know, doing the flamethrower and then you'd yell cut. And like, if you had 15 minutes between shots, she's practicing her conductor stick. I mean, that's, that's Kate is she's such a total pro and she wants every scene to be great and takes the role so seriously. But that was the fun was watching, you know, Kevin Hart. We've never seen him fight before. And he takes apart, you know, 200 bandits within a span of five minutes. And I said, the only way we're ever going to convince, you know, people you're a great action star is to just have you do it. 
And and yeah, you know, look, obviously everybody had doubles and they could train with, but anything that we could do on camera, they did. Like that sequence in the tunnels. I mean, that is them running through, shooting, grabbing. And then Jamie's like, well, we're gonna leave the fighting to these guys. We're like, So she has the thing, she grabs Kevin's gun, shoots him in the head and shoots there. I and mean, she's so funny and so in it that she can navigate, act, just shooting people around, like not even phase, going, oh, that way, boom, like, it was incredible. It was so much fun to watch them actually do it. That's when, you know, you're, the movie really, you feel like you're in Borderlands, really proud of that sequence. Yes, and also you got Edgar Ramirez to be very serious, and sometimes Ed he's not, <laughs> like very- I know. Edgar yeah. Ramirez is just one of the sweetest guys on the planet. It was fun to see him be a bad guy talking about kill them, dismantle, harvest her body parts, you know, save her organs. I might, you know, use them later. Like he's really, really one of a kind. And he sort of dropped in at the end of the shoot. So it was literally like him dropping in on Pandora, like his character. And then, of course, Gina Gershon and Florian Montano. I mean, it was just Bobby Lee. It was really the most amazing cast I've ever worked with. That's amazing. Eli, I just want to thank you so much for your time. A pleasure to see you again. And until the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. If you like to support or continue to support Jan on camera, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share the videos.